Welcome to the Ascension Football Show. I'm Kieran Edwards. And today on the Ascension Football Show, we continue to feature the Ascension Invitational Tournament of Trinidad and Tobago. And today on set, we have Moruga FC. Well, last tournament, which was the League of Champions, was just cut before we had concluded. During the pandemic, how, how that downtime was in terms of, we're talking almost two years of the field. In this last week, since the World Team, it has been spreading like wildfire and everybody is coming on. With the continued coverage of the Ascension Invitational Tournament, we are the Ascension Football Show. We are covering Moruga. And today we have the manager, president of Moruga FC, Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs, pleasure to have you on set with us, sir. The pleasure is really mine. All Happy right. to be here. Journey far to come up in Eastland for the interview. Um, how was your journey to come up yesterday? How was the journey from Moruga? Well, we didn't expect that much traffic today, but it was okay. It was okay. Um, when we hear about Moruga, we always hear coming. I mean, that was the big song coming from Moruga. <laughs> what, in the football terms, what, what does Moruga, because it's a football interview, the Ascension football yes. show. What in football, what does Moruga have to offer? Right. Well, once you have Moruga in any tournament, be it youth or senior, you get a, a passionate, um, we have a, a very vibrant support base. Our supporters follow us all over Trinidad and Tobago. We bring excitement to any league. We, we, we always are the, the, the underdog sometimes that you can't underestimate. We bring excitement, we bring flair. You know, so we, we have a surprise package. So we we looking for Moruga <laughs> to be the flair, the, the star boys. The, yes. we, we could see some some Ronaldinho's and and Messi's throughout Moruga when mm. when we come to see Moruga. Because we have an exciting bunch for this tournament in particular. Yeah. We we are blooding some some new ones. Would have been some of the guys who would have come out of the Moruga secondary um, team that were promoted to the Premiership but never got the chance to play. Right. So they have been eager, and and this tournament really serves as a reprieve for them. So they are excited to get out there and and, and show their stuff. For the rest of the world to see. Coming into the tournament, um, Muga, as you say, the last team to come into the tournament, mm -hmm. um, replacing Malabar FC. When you got the call that you would be part of the first division in, in the Ascension tournament, um, give me the feeling for for the team, for the management staff, how, how that felt. Well, we knew that the possibility existed, but you know we saw everything established, so we weren't really in a state of readiness. Physically, that is, but mentally, we started to prepare. When we got that call, it was excitement because we were really looking forward to getting back out there. Our last tournament, which was the League of Champions, was just cut before we had concluded. So we were left in limbo. Our community has been really disappointed where football is concerned. Our school team, the Moruga Secondary School, as I said, were promoted but never got a chance to play. Most of those boys would have graduated, they comprised this team. Our seniors in 2019 won the Champ of Champs, expecting to be promoted to the Super League. Then we had you know, all of the situations that occurred and we never got the chance. So for us, this is a reprieve. We were excited. Although we knew it was going to be a challenge, we have accepted this challenge. And in one week time, we have been able to really you know, mobilize. We, we have uh, excellent technical staff, second to none. We have been spearheaded by our technical director, Mr. Donnell Maskell. Um, and she is guiding a, a cadre of coaches, all of them very experienced and qualified, you know, having experience even at the pro league level. You know, we also have a good um, physiotherapy department headed by Mr. Joseph Roblal. So we are well prepared technically. We have a group of guys who we know we can mold and build. And, and, and we look forward to growing from strength to strength as the tournament progresses. Um, as you mentioned, the setbacks expecting a little more from from the Muruga team the, the the different competitions they're expecting the school team the, mm -hmm. the, the 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 village team basically to play to take in the super league and move forward and progress um during the pandemic how how that downtime was in terms of we're talking almost two years of the field yeah well, two years plus of the field um how, how, unfortunately how for us our facilities weren't upkept mm. all the recreation grounds that we have at our disposal for whatever reason, they, 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 they were more or less almost abandoned. So the, a, a physical space yeah. was a challenge for us to keep going. Although we knew we had limitations, we still were willing to do small groups, but even that was really challenging. So we almost had come to a standstill. 
you know, had it not been for a, a, a program that was we had executed just before the lockdown, where we have various communities, coaches working in various communities in whatever space they could have found. So we have now these boys coming out of, of, of that program of that, that survived. Yes. Okay, so that that's how the and and the, the, the mental part of it for the guys. So what what worked? Have you you've been keeping in touch with them? Letting them what, yes. what's, what's the well, situation? Unfortunately, we'd have lost a few. Eh? Uh. Some of the 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 the, 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 the backbone, the main members, you know, they would, would have had to move on into the world of work. They have lost their focus, you know, from football. We are trying to see if we could reach them and bring them back into the fold. But um, it, it was a tough blow. But within this last week here, since the word came, it has been spreading like wildfire. And everybody is coming on board, you know, even those who had hesita hesitancy to vaccine vaccinate mm -hmm. we have some of them now making the decision because they want to be part of this so it is really building momentum um i want to take a short break but when i come back i want to get into the history of Moga fc um we heard about Moga fc surely yes since i'm coming up as a young boy i played football in south so i would have heard about Moga fc players from Moga coming through um i want to get a bit of the history when we come back so when we come back from break we have we get into the history of Moga fc Pest control is a pain, but you don't have to go it alone. If you're a business that needs someone who will fix your problems point blank, go with the brand that's tested. Go with Terminix. Born almost a century ago in Memphis, Tennessee, Terminix International's mission has been to spread its innovations across the world through its integrated pest and termite management system, reducing the infestation of pests and vermin. Our Trinidad franchise neutralizes the threat of tropical insects and ensures that companies, from food production to hospitality, protect their investment and get the maximum value from our relationship. And we've been doing it well for over 20 years. Termites and pests are relentless, but they're no match for Terminix. Contact us today for a free consultation and quote, and let's introduce you to convenience. Protect your premises today. Choose a service provider that persists. Talk to Terminix. Pests bothering you? Call Terminix at 672-5007 or 672-0042 or visit our website at terminix.co.tt for a free quote and consultation. Join our fight against pests. Get in the game with Ascension. Quality for champions. Yeah. Ascension! Ascension! Premium quality and style make you stand out all the time. Ascension is quality for champions. Ascension fit is always right. Take your game to higher heights. Ascension got the quality for champions. So everybody say, hey, oh. we wearing Ascension when we play. Part of Real West Sports United. Terry Frenick, he was afraid to play like the Rangers. Angus Eve was afraid to play like the Rangers. But we, the Ron Lafferet trained team, we are ready, willing, and able to defend the West against the Lafferet Rangers attack. Westport has answered the call, and Westport is ready. Maritime Limited, the best in marina services. At our facilities, security checks ensures that all vehicles are secured. 
Our newly renovated bathrooms are always kept in a clean working order. Need repairs and maintenance? We have you covered. Our qualified workmen will get the job done. Boat storages. From our marina, you can easily push off for a family sailing trip. Fishing with the boys. Or a fun DDI experience with friends. Repairs, secured parking, extensive camera system, port charters, port rentals, down the island parties. Contact us at 1868 634 1653. Lasso Frame Maritime Limited, the best in marina services. Life's better on a boat. with brew. So what's the most important thing the team focuses on during training sessions? Well, as of now, it will be, will be fitness and getting those um, technical abilities, the touches and things on. Plus, we're trying to put together our, our structure, our, our game plan. How do you rate the performance of the players coming out of the pandemic? One being the worst, ten being the best. I will give them a, a seven and up. I'm pleasantly surprised at, 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 the, at the level that they're at right now. What advice would you give an up-and-coming player missing out on that two years of football? Um, coming out of maybe colleges league, not being able to play and I'm mature now, 17, 18, 19, outside of, foot, of, of college with football. Um, what advice you will give a young player coming out? Well, I'll tell them this is a great opportunity. Now is their time. You know, sometimes they would have been staff opportunities, but in the absence of more of the senior players, this is the opportunity to get out there, establish themselves, and, and really, you know, stake their claim for either a spot on the national programs, scholarship, or even into the professional ranks. What's the best piece of advice you would, would have been given through the years with the, with the club Moruga FC? Be persistent. You know, don't worry too much about, you know, the, 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 the negative things that, you know, things that probably seem to be improbable. Get out there, give it a shot, and, and, and we will succeed. We have done that, and it has really borne fruit. What do you intend to achieve um, at the end of the tournament? With the, with, the, with, the, with this group of players? 
We want to see ourselves finishing in the top half. We would like to see this group of players showing incremental development. Where they would have started the tournament, we want to see them at, at, at a stage probably about 50 to 60 percent better or more than where they started at. So the technical team we have around them, once they open themselves to, to learning, they would get that level of improvement. What you would like to see the team improve on? What aspects of the team you like to see improved? Well, discipline. No, no, no. Discipline in, 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 in terms of, you know, um, being on time, you know, um, understanding when they get here, the things that they ought to do for themselves, even when they're not around the team, that self-discipline to keep themselves fit, you know, consider what they put into their bodies, respect the game, respect what the game can do for them, and, 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 and that will bring growth and development to them as a player and as an individual. My name is Eric Gibbs and I'm the manager of Maruga Football Club. Well, this team is 25 years old. The club was founded in 1997. We have a very vibrant youth development program. So what we would have here is more or less the, the product of that program. We have been very successful in youth football. We are past winners of the Republic Cup National Youth League. So here we have now a culmination of, of that effort. We have a very competent technical staff and they're, right now their focus is on you know, getting a bit of fitness because we boys have been inactive, most of them, for a greater part of two years, as well as you know, getting their touches on, you know, building on their technical ability right now, as well as putting together a, a plan, a game plan, because we have an assembly here of players from different communities. So as we are coming together now, the coaching staff is working on getting their, 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 their system in place. Oh, well, for sure, we would like to see our team develop. We have very young boys here. Most of them are just out of school. Um, the core of the team would have come from the Moruga Secondary School team that would have been promoted to the Premiership. Unfortunately, they didn't get a chance to play. So we, this is a reprieve for them, and we are hoping to see them develop and, and really get into the, the next phase of their footballing life. Well, for sure, you know, everybody has to be wary of, 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 of Rangers. You know, they seem to have their, their hand on the pulse of things. They were the, one of the only clubs that would have been able to really withstand the, 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 the challenge of this COVID period. Of course, the armed forces, police defense force, we always know that they, they, they present a formidable challenge. However, we, our expectations are that we would see improvement as the tournament progresses. And um, we will surprise a few. We will take a few big scalps. Trust me. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, sure. Because um, our community, you know, we, we're very remote, we're very rural, and football has been really the catalyst that really energizes our community. We have a very vibrant, you know, um, support base, and they are eager to see the boys back out in the middle. They were disappointed with the, with the, with the lockdown, the, the school team not having to play in the premiership. Even our seniors were promoted via the Champion Champs in 19. 2019 never got a chance to play at the Super League level. So for us, this is really the opportunity of a lifetime. Everything is really culminated and come to pass. So here we are, the top flight, and, and the, the whole community is excited and behind us 100%. Well, we are just like to say thank you on behalf of the community of Morugan Environs for this opportunity. You know, it came late, but nonetheless, we accepted the challenge because it's through these opportunities, our players will get the exposure that they need. We are very young players, as I say. And we know that um, they will grow from strength to strength. So we like to thank the the the, the Tominix, um Rangers organization, Mr. Ferguson and his team, for giving us this opportunity. Moruga Football Club has answered the call. Moruga Football Club is ready. My name is Eric Gibbs. I'm the manager of Moruga Football Club. This team is 25 years old. The club was founded in 1997. Our community, you know, we, we're very remote, we're very rural, and 
football has been really the catalyst that really energizes our community. Moruga Football Club has answered the call. Moruga Football Club is ready. here is that these characters and I refer to them as pests right what they are doing is destroying our country but not on my watch no street no turf no block shall belong to these cockroaches right it's no longer business as usual happy hour is over if they don't fear God at least they will fear Terminix have you considered how your methods could impact on pests across the country <laughs> I find we look after the rights of pests as opposed to the rights of the 1.3 million law-abiding citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. I wonder if Roach Ladinson come here for the carnival if, if you'll interview me. But how can you defend one shot, one kill? What? You want me to throw a pillow at him? I didn't say that. No, well, if a roach jumps in front of you now, what will you do? Run. Oh, Jesus, Lord Father. <laughs> pests bothering you? Call Terminix at 672-5007 or 672-0042 or visit our website at terminix.co.tt for a free quote and consultation. Join our fight against pests. Get in the game with Ascension. What for champions? Ascension! Located at Magnificent Mall, number 271, Southern Main Road, Macbean, Cuba. Amante Del Cafe. Happiness begins with brew. My name is Ryan Fedrick. I'm a midfielder, and I play for Central Soccer World. The biggest challenge is to try and finish in the top three. It will be a tough tournament, but we, we come to give a good show and show everyone how much good players we have in Central here. Central Soccer Will has answered the call and Central Soccer Will is ready. Lasso 
Friend Maritime Limited, the best in marina services. At our facilities, security checks ensures that all vehicles are secured. Our newly renovated bathrooms are always kept in a clean working order. Need repairs and maintenance? We have you covered. Our qualified workmen will get the job done. Boat storages. From our marina, you can easily push off for a family sailing trip. fishing with the boys. Or a fun DDI experience with friends. Repairs, secured parking, extensive camera system, boat charters, boat rentals, down the island parties. Contact us at 1 866 634 1653. Lasso Frame Maritime Limited, the best in marina services. Life's better on a boat. <laughs> And we're back. Mr. Gibbs, um, I want to know about the history of Moruga. Um, take me back from how, how long the club has been in existence. Well, we came together in 1997. It, it stemmed from the backdrop of a very vibrant minor league ah. when we looked at a lot of players with national you know, experience coming in to play for various villages. And we felt that, you know, our boys, our homegrown boys, they stood up to them. Yeah. So why not have a homegrown team into the Southern Football Association? So all the managers of the various community-based teams came together and we had this team formed. It, it was, a, it was a, a banging start because we entered the SFA and we created a real stir. We got promotion to the first division in just our first year. We have never looked back since. Um, what was very instrumental for us is that we recognized as a rural-based team, we had to take our players out and expose them. We approached all sport promotion for participation in the Savannah League. That was a league solely for clubs in and around Port of Spain. We had an interview with Mr. Harford and they, and, and we convinced them to let us in. And since then, we spent three years at, 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 at that Savannah League. We did pretty well. We rubbed shoulders with the big guns. And out of that, when they decided to do the first Super League in 2003, because we were more or less instrumental in, in, in all sports, seeing that they could have taken this football further and wider. As a matter of fact, they experimented with a game where Queen's Park came down to Moruga. And because of that, when they, they decided to have that first Super League in 2003, we were, we were invited. Probably one of the first clubs. So we played in the inaugural Super League 2003. Um, we were demoted because challenges, you know, financially and administratively, we, we, but we learned. And um, again, we were approached by Club Sando to partner with them when they went up to the professional league and we joined with them and we had Club Sando Moruga and, and that is the team that really would have put us on, on, on the map. You know, we finished third place in 2018 and we always competitive. All teams coming to Moruga look forward because a game in Moruga is, 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 is an experience. We give you the full package. Our, our, as I said, our supporters are very, very passionate and, and, and that I think really helps and augurs well for, for football in general. We have a vibrant youth development program as well. Our youth team would have won Republic Cup at the under-17 level in 2017. Our under-14 team won the National Youth League. Very epic here. Remember getting past Santa Rosa in the final at, up at Arima here. And we have never looked back, you know. And, and hence, the reason why football has, has, has been growing continuously in Moruga. But 
I've, I've, I realize there are some successes through the, through the <laughs> yeah, years. Yeah. Um, give me some of the players that would have passed through the, the club through the years and, and would have gone on to maybe representing um, higher in professional football or even, even with the national team or even abroad. Well, um, I can remember one of the earlier successes we have would, would have been um, Cooper. That, that was... Um, um, he was at Benedict's. Yeah, he he yeah. went on to the national under 20 team, mm -hmm. Andrew Cooper, and he mm -hmm. went on to scholarship. We even had a women's team in 2003. And out of our women's team, well, we have Donnell Maskell. She is one of the, the, the successes out of that program. She's now the technical director with our club. She's assistant um, coach to the national under 20, under, under 17 women's team. Yeah. Um, in, within your very own club here, yeah, we have Maurice Dick, mm -hmm. who, who was with us from baby and you know we are very proud of his achievements and he's still a, a catalyst in our community urging the other boys to come on we can do it we have had Shaquille Louison who represented at the national under 17 level and this to say several of them we are still hoping and praying that we could have somebody national college at senior level and we know that will come soon well I, 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 the names <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 happy because as as you my job Terminex of the Rangers. Yes. Um, Dick, I've, I've seen Dick coming on. Um, the, the, the distance he, he has gone to, to really become a professional player, I think it's commendable for any young player looking up to someone to see the dedication and the, and the drive behind such a player. So um, I understand the work you've been doing in Maruga. Um, Give me, give me a sense of the Ascension League. Where, where, it's, where see Moruga in the Ascension League? Finishing in the Ascension League, placing how you, how you, you, you foresee that. I mean, if anyone looks at the at, at, at the list of teams, you know, we would be considered an underdog. But we understand that football has this last two years has put clubs in a very precarious position. Everybody is in rebuilding, and we are just as them. So we feel that like we could compete to finish in the top half. Right. In the top half of, of top of half the, of this league, yes. All right, well, so we would surprise a few of the big names. Uh, trust me, you, you, <laughs> <laughs> you're putting persons on notice. Yes, yes, yes. Don't persons. take us lightly. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't take us at three points. Don't no, take us no, at no, 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 no. Don't count your points. Don't count your points with Moroga <laughs> FC. Um, the journey we know we know most of the league is playing on East West corridor in terms of the safe zone. Um, what's your thoughts on on terms of that journey from Moroga? To play a game and get get the guys ready. You think that would be a challenge when the league starts? No, not really, because as I said, we have had years of experience of playing at the top levels. Um, National Youth League was structured as just the same. We had three years in the, in, in the Super League, so we have grown accustomed to the um to the to, 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 to the structure, the timelines. You know, we, we are accustomed with that, so yeah. it won't be challenging. You don't see that as being a problem because no, of the experience. No, 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 no. We have the experience in managing, you know, playing football at this level. Um, what, 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 what do you think then, if that's not, the, uh, might be a challenge, what do you think might be a challenge within the league, in the Ascension League this year, um, coming out from the pandemic? Well, well, for us, for certain, you know, finances. For us, because we're so remote, everything for us is, 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 is at the more expensive end. Transportation, you know, we, we'll have to have refreshments probably twice because we would have to leave home pretty early around lunchtime. So we have to pro provide meals. We will get back late. So... So refreshments will be a challenge, you know, just procuring these, these, these things. But I must say that um, since we have made the call, we have supporters, you know, making pledges. But we, nonetheless, we, um, we know that would be a little challenging, but we will overcome mm -hmm. that. Okay. What would be helpful for us as well, you know, we have a, a, a brand new spanking new multipurpose complex, very similar to the model that we have in Diego Martin, never been used. We were hoping that we could have activated that and probably if... You know, the league might consider giving us a game or two. You know, we will provide all the, the safe zone criteria. That that would really help a lot. Is it in, in, well, we know contact sport has not resumed mm -hmm. um, just the other day, just a few days ago, a couple of weeks ago. Um, in terms of the facility, has it, in terms of been handed over to... Who, yes, who it, it, it has it been, it, it's another sport company right now. It has been handed over. And we are working assiduously to getting it, to, to making it become available. So... We should have some good news in a couple of days. Now, I think I think every team would be <laughs> would be fighting to to come and play Moruga at, at, at that kind of venue. Um, I'm aware of the venue. Yes, I've been to the venue in terms of, of doing a visit at the venue. I think every club would be excited to to, to be hosted by Moruga in, in Moruga. Um, in terms of the community, what what community work have the, the club been doing 
through the pandemic in terms of staying connected to community. I think most clubs would be would have been in, within some challenge in terms of, of on the field, but would have reached out in terms of helping through the pandemic. What what has the club been doing through that that long time? Well, it, it, we we have to look for opportunities where we could have made an impact. Um, we would have tried to do some work in terms of environmental work, like around the ground, still trying to see if we could have gone in there, probably get some of the grass down. We went in with workers, we cut some, trying to, you know, make it playable for the community. Besides playable, the communities needed that recreational space. So we worked with that. Um, we worked with um, getting our beach, because our beach is very important to us. We did some work there in, in, in trying to establish a, 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 a beach soccer facility. We want to establish more as a beach football um, venue, so we were doing some work in the, in the downtime, getting that operational. But um, opportunities were, were far and few in between. But we have some intentions to continue our outreach program, working with schools to make sure well football is is, is, is well developed in the schools and within all the communities. Um, I think that's a noble idea in terms of reaching yeah, out to yeah. schools. And I think beach soccer, especially in that area, is, it's it's one yeah, that yeah. will bring the fans out and and bring that excitement as well. So, we understand the, the outreach um, on the field. What does Maruga do well on the field in terms of, we say strength is defensively attacking, possession. What do you think the strengths of Maruga FC is? Well, we try to create balance. You know, typically a, a, a Maruga team, as I say, plays with some flair. So, it's more in the middle of the field, you will start to see the play build up, you will start to see some movement, movement off the ball. And I'm, we always threaten your goal. So our attackers are always present, ever present. <laughs> so be wary. <laughs> so we expect him a lot of goals, a lot of goals, a lot of goals from Maruga. Yes, we will, we will be down in that last third year very regularly. <laughs> I, 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 I really look forward to seeing Maruga playing in the Ascension tournament, yeah. sir. Um, Mr. Gibbs, it was a pleasure to have you here, sir. Coming, I know it's been a journey, um, but the pleasure is mine to have you on set, sir. Well, sir, on behalf of my club and my community, I would like to say thank you for entertaining us and, and giving us this interview, this chance to really expose a bit more of Moruga to the to, to the rest of the world. You know, sometimes we feel a little peeved that you know we don't down we down south and you know we, we are we are not really paid much attention to. So I'm, I'm grateful for this opportunity to share and expose some of what we in Moruga have to offer. Um, at the Ascension tournament, we 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 also pay, we always pay attention to, to any part of the country. I'm glad to, we have somebody. In the West, in terms of we West Fort, Carnage, Dego Martin, a team coming out of there. We have teams from the East, and it was important to get a team from far south to, to actually represent and, and get a talent. So whenever, because we have been starving for football for some time, and this tournament will now give the national coaches the opportunity to see under 20 players, under 17 players, senior players from all over the country. So it's a pleasure that Muruga answered the bell and was able to put their hands up and be part of the Ascension we, tournament. We had no choice when that called. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, which, again, it was a pleasure. pleasure and man. that's it for another Ascension show. Remember to follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube and at the ascensiontournament.com.